This, one, this particular text or, or figure here uh, is taken from a, a, a textbook with the, uh, the source being credited at the bottom of it here. And what it is, it's an outline of the organic matter cycle in the soil. So as I'm going through and discussing the breakdown and cycling of nutrients through this organic matter cycle, which is what I'm going to be doing next on the tape, I'd like you to have this beside you to refer to as I, as I discuss this. Because I'll be mentioning, mentioning several of the terms that are on this handout, and I think it will be just useful for you to, to use this as a lecture guide as we go through this, this uh, next few minutes on the tape. So find this, this handout. Uh, it's not critical that you read the uh, reproduced uh, magazine article before you, li you listen to this portion of the tape, but it is important for you to have this and have this particular outline next to you as I go through this. I would start out by saying that these organisms, both the flora and the fauna, the plant and animal life, really work together as a team in this organic matter cycle in the soil. And what I mean by that is that some organisms are breaking down dead and decaying organic material, they're utilizing these nutrients, as they themselves die, complete their life cycle, they then are going to be decomposed and their nutrients that are contained within their bodies are going to be released. The animals use the vegetation as a source of food. The, uh, the, the bacteria and fungi, which are I'm calling primary decomposers, some people may call them secondary, I call them primary because they're of primary importance, they are kind of at the, the lower level where when they break down dead and decaying organic material, much of the nutrients that is in that material is being released in simple inorganic ion form. But together, all of these organisms make up a very comprehensive, complete food chain. 